All this election madness keeping you up at night? <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Stick around to the end of this video. I have just the thing for better sleep, Beam's Dream Powder. Welcome, my fellow warriors, in this fight for the soul of America and the well-being of her people. I appreciate you being here. Remember, if you will, the long ago times when there was outrage when Joe Biden called Donald Trump supporters garbage. Oh, how dare he? Why will the president not be unifying for the American people, they said. Oh, this is outrageous. And then we wake up. Many Americans, black Americans, were texted yesterday. Greetings. I'll just throw it on screen, then I'm going to get to an article here. Greetings. There are two different versions that I was able to find. You have been selected to be a house slave at Abingdon Plantation. Come to this address at 0500 tomorrow sharp with all of your belongings. This is mandatory. Our executive slaves, I believe some of the text said, this says spaces, will come get you in a turquoise van. Be prepared to be searched down once you enter the plantation grounds. You will be stationed at Plantation Point L. Sincerely, Trump administration. Here's another version. Greetings, you have been selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. Be ready at 12 a.m. November 13th, 2024, sharp with your belongings, are, exec are exclusive. Is this what it said, exclusive on the other one? No, this one says exclusive slaves. will come get you in a brown van. Be prepared to be searched upon arrival to plantation. No personal belongings allowed. This is a fresh start. You are plantation group D. Tell me again how it was incorrect that Joe Biden called these people garbage. These are texts going out to black folks all across the country from Trump supporters. This is from the Washington Post. After election, racist texts nationwide threaten black people with slavery. Black people in several states receive racist texts, some that claim to be affiliated with Donald Trump, ordering them to work as slaves on plantations. The FBI and authorities in several states are investigating racist text messages sent to black people nationwide this week, saying they would be brought to plantations to work as enslaved people and pick cotton. Garbage. Trump supporters. Following the lead of their garbage... Convict president-elect. People in at least a dozen states and D.C. have received the text messages, according to authorities and local media. The texts have spread alarm in the aftermath of a presidential election marked by president-elect Donald Trump and his campaign's use of inflammatory language against minorities. They're eating the pets! They're eating the cats! They're eating the dogs! Garbage. The origin of the messages is unknown, and it is unclear how many people received them. Reports from some states said the messages arrived Wednesday and appeared to target black students at universities. Some, though not all, of the messages claimed to be from a Trump supporter or, quote-unquote, the Trump administration, according to screenshots shared on social media and local news. The campaign has absolutely nothing to do with these text messages. Caroline Levitt, the dime store Amy Schumer said, a spokeswoman for the Trump campaign, told the Washington Post, quote, the FBI is aware of the offensive and racist text messages sent to individuals around the country and is in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities on the matter, the agency said in a statement Thursday. And then to give you an idea of just how widespread this is, that it's not isolated to here in the, the nation's capital of Washington, D.C., the attorneys general of Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, Louisiana, and Nevada said they received reports of residents getting the messages and condemned them. People in California, Wisconsin, Ohio, South Carolina, Michigan, Georgia, and Alabama also said they had received the messages, according to local news reports. Garbage. Deplorable. 
and they cry and they whine and they snivel. How dare they call us garbage? How dare they call us racists? Oh, harumph. How uncivilized. Oh, the crocodile tears as they send texts to black people telling them to report for enslavement. Here's a brief video package from the local NBC affiliate here in Washington, D.C., where they interviewed a recipient of one of these text messages. The racist text messages were sent to an unknown number of people by an unknown sender in several states and in D.C. Many who got them are college students and many are black. This woman named Pam didn't want to be identified. She said her family members and friends received the texts. Some messages included people's personal names. Other messages just started out with a greeting um, saying that people will be enslaved and that they're will be a bus coming to pick up people. The texts say different things, but they consistently say you've been selected to pick cotton at a plantation at a specific date or time. What did you think when you saw these? Um, I was shocked. I was scared. I was nervous. I was upset. As some of the text messages tell people to show up here, Metro headquarters in Southwest DC. It says bring all your belongings. This is mandatory. And at the bottom it says Trump administration. Another example, our executive slaves will come to get you in a brown van. Be prepared to be searched upon arrival to plantation. The texts are causing questions and concerns. How did you get my number and how, like, how do I defend myself and how do I protect myself and what is going to be done about this? Local and federal law enforcement are looking into the messages. The FBI released a statement saying, quote, the FBI is aware of the offensive and racist text messages sent to individuals around the country and is in contact with the Justice Department and other federal authorities on the matter. School systems are also weighing in after students receive the texts. Montgomery County Public Schools said in part, we condemn these hateful communications and the fear they aim to instill. Pam says she is very concerned who sent them and why a day after the election. She hopes it's not a sign of more to come. It's worrisome. The whole election had people anxious and then now we have to deal with random messages coming across to our phone to black people, people of color. It's, it's not fair. In the district, Darcy Spencer, News 4. This is why we must remain in the fight. This is why I am appreciative that you are still here. This is why, as I stated yesterday and multiple times in multiple videos, if you thought I was an aggressive asshole before, this isn't the channel for you going forward. These people need to be dealt with. These people feel unencumbered from consequence. They believe they have a mandate from their dear fascistic leader, Donald Trump, to act like this, to, to uh, impose fear on others, to harass others because of immutable characteristics like the tint and tone of their skin, their level of melanin. I hope that you continue to have a stomach for the fight. Reach out to friends who are in the, the, the path of this abuse. I, for one, as I stated yesterday and the day before, will stand in the gap, even if that's physically for my loved ones, for my friends, for strangers that I see abused on the street. There are videos all over social media right now of MAGA hat clad asswipes abusing people of color, minorities, gays, lesbians, transgender folks. Be an ally. Join me in being an ally. And those of you who can physically defend people, don't stand by and watch as the abuse takes place. What do you think? 
Comment below. I welcome you to this conversation. Our voicemail line is open, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Please consider supporting independent media. If it's not this channel, pick another and support them. If it is this channel, thank you. Uh, click the join button below for $1.99. You can help support this work. It's going to be a long four years. You can also go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I welcome and appreciate your consideration. Follow me on social media everywhere but Twitter. I am on threads and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. At Dollamore is where you can find me. Until I see you next time, be genuine and take care of one another. It doesn't take much to knock me off my sleep routine, and it's been this way for years. And given everything that's happening right now, it can sure be difficult to turn it off at night. Political upheaval, wars in the East, and we're headed into an entire season of social engagements and possible overindulgence. That's why I'm so excited to talk about Beam's Dream Powder, a science-backed, healthy hot cocoa for sleep. Do you have trouble sleeping too? Dream is formulated to ease your body into rest and support all four stages of the sleep cycle to help you fall asleep faster and more importantly sometimes, stay asleep longer. Get up to 50% off right now when you head to shopbeam.com slash dollamore and enter code dollamore at checkout. Other sleep aids can cause next day grogginess, but Dream contains a powerful, all natural blend of reishi, magnesium, L-theanine, apigenin, and melatonin to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. It's a breeze to add to your evening routine too. Just mix Dream in hot water or milk, froth, and enjoy before you go to bed. And check out the limited edition holiday flavors, white chocolate, peppermint, and gingerbread. I'm into it. Right now, Beam is offering our listeners exclusive early access to their cyber sale. This is their biggest sale of the year and my listeners can shop it early before anyone else. Get up to 50% off when you visit shopbeam.com slash dollamore and use code dollamore at checkout. To try Dream for the lowest price of the year, head over to shopbeam, B-E-A-M dot com slash dollamore, enter the code dollamore, and unlock your early access. That's shopbeam, shop, B-E-A-M dot com slash dollamore, and use code dollamore for up to 50% off. Beam is here to help you get that dream.